Welcome to sunny Winter Haven, Florida. I'm Lane Dog Bowers, and I want you to realize that you are greatly blessed, highly favored, and deeply loved. Man, it is bright out here today. I should have brought my sunglasses. But anyway, I got something I'm real excited to share with you today, and it's about the single most powerful thing that you can focus your faith on to receive all the blessings. And listen to this verse. This is awesome. It's a, it, this is in Isaiah uh, 54, 17. No weapon formed against you will prosper, and every tongue that rises against you in judgment you will condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is from me, says the Lord. That's Isaiah 54, 17. Now, you know, the amazing thing about that is a lot of people will quote that. You know, no weapon formed against me will prosper. Uh, no evil will come near my dwelling place. But the real key to that verse is that last section. That, and their righteousness, every tongue that rises against you in judgment you will condemn. And their righteousness is from me. Let me make sure I got that right. And their righteousness is from me. See, that's the most powerful thing. When you focus your faith on the fact that our righteousness is a gift, that is the single most powerful thing that you can do to focus your faith on. And, you know, it's easy to do that when things are going right. But when things aren't going right, that's really tough to do. You know, I don't know what things you're going through in your life right now, but if you're in a spot where trouble, you feel like overwhelmed with something, maybe it's debt, maybe it's a relationship that's not going well, maybe it's something, and you know what, you're thinking to yourself, you know what, I... I really deserve these problems that I'm in because they're my problem. I got myself into this and, you know, could I expect, you know, help from the Lord in this situation? Well, I'm sitting here telling you, yes, you can. Because the very place that you need to exercise your faith is at the moment that you feel undeserving. That's the very moment because you got to realize God is not going to bless you because what you do, He's going to bless you because of what Jesus did. So when you really screw up, let's say you yell at your wife or something, that's one that I like to use, because, you know, quite frankly, I, I screw up. I yell at my kids, I yell at my wife, sometimes I lose my temper. That's the very moment that you need to take a deep breath and remind yourself of the truth. The circumstances in front of you may be very difficult, but the truth of the situation is that your righteousness is from the Lord. That's the thing you have to realize. Listen, Jesus took all of your sickness, all of your diseases, the chastisement of your peace, and my peace was upon him. He took all of the sin, all of the curses, and it was an exchange. We get all of the blessings. We get the righteousness as a gift. By the abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness, we will reign in life through the one. So when you confess that I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus, and I love to add I am greatly blessed, highly favored, and deeply loved, those are all truths of God's Word. That is the foundation of the good news. When you confess that, that is the time when your faith may be weak, but your faith in Jesus will be strong. He's the author and the finisher of our faith. That's the very moment where you can really receive all of the blessings when you realize, you know, God, I can't, but you can. And my faith is not in my righteousness. My faith is in Jesus' righteousness. And that will give you the faith to come to the Lord, come to his, uh, come in, you know, into his presence and ask. You get his mercy, which you don't deserve, and you get the, his unmerited favor, which Jesus deserves. I mean, how awesome is that? I mean, if you want to get, you know, all the blessings of Abraham, which were amazing. It was amazing, all the blessings. There was a renewal of youth. He was wealthy. He was healthy. All those blessings come upon the Gentiles, not by the works of the law, but of the hearing of faith. And I'll tell you what. There's a verse in here that's awesome that I love. That's Romans 4, 2 through 5. For if Abraham was justified by works, he had something to boast about, but not before God. For what does the scripture say? Abraham believed God, and it was accounted to him. Uh, Abraham believed God, and it was accounted to him for righteousness. Now to him who works, the wages are not counted as grace, but as debt. 
But to him who does not work, but believes on him who justifies the ungodly, his faith is accounted to him for righteousness. You see, Abraham, his faith that he believed God, and he believed his word, that was accounted to him for righteousness. So the secret to Abraham's blessings is in that last part. If you believe that God is the God who justifies the ungodly, so when you screw up the most, at that very moment, remind yourself of the truth. I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. I am greatly blessed, highly favored, deeply loved. You have put yourself in a position of realizing that you're not getting what your righteousness deserves. Because that would get you all the curses. You would, We would fall under condemnation. The very worst part of everything is what we deserve. But when we put our faith in Jesus' righteousness, that qualifies you to receive all of the blessings. So I encourage you today, it's the very area where you fall short of God's glory, that His strength, His power can be made, can manifest in your very own weakness. So I encourage you today, in the very area where you feel discouraged and upset, receive all the blessings by confessing your righteousness. Now, do we sweep all the shortcomings under the table? No. But when you confess that you're the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus, that is going to bring a supernatural peace into your life. That will give you the power to say, you know what, I screwed up. You know, and that's what I'll do. And then I'll go to Cindy, you know, I'm, I'm sorry. I was completely out of line. And I'm sorry. You know, and the thing is, when you try and do it on your own, you're not going to feel like going and apologizing. But when you realize all the blessings come not because of your righteousness, but because of Jesus' righteousness, because Jesus took all your sins, all your sickness, all your diseases, the chastisement of peace, he took all the curses on himself, but we get the robe of righteousness. And we and the robe of righteousness qualifies us for all the blessings of the righteous. I hope this encourages you today. Use your faith for the one thing that guarantees all the blessings of Abraham, that you are the righteousness of God by faith in Christ Jesus. God bless you today, and I'm expecting a miracle for you.